Thank you, Mr. President. Colleagues, as we go about our lives, it is easy to get distracted by the numerous tragedies that strike our world. It is easy for some to forget that one year ago, Typhoon Yolanda, one of the strongest tropical storms ever recorded, struck the Philippines. And there's supposed to be a video showing. Uh, perhaps uh, it is not queued up yet. Maybe it won't. There we go. As you can see from the pictures on the monitor, the result of the devastation was far-reaching, and it will take years and years to recover from. Over 6,300 people lost their lives, and over 900,000 families were displaced due to Typhoon, Typhoon Yolanda. I stand here today with our friend, Philippine Consul General Leo Herrera Lim, Lisa Schultz with the Peace Project, and Aki Soriano Versosa from Filipino Workers Center and the Relief to Recovery Campaign. We are all here to remember those who were affected by this tragedy, as well as implore the public to continue to support the recovery effort to re rebuild the Philippines one year after the typhoon struck. Your support will go a long way in helping our brothers and sisters who have lost so much. Uh, colleagues, at this time, I'd like to, us all to observe a moment of silence in memory of those who have been affected by this tragedy. And please keep in mind the thousands and thousands of people who have never even been uh, found. A moment of silence. Thank you so much. Thanks for keeping all of those affected in your prayers. And at this time, I would like to invite Consul General Herrera Lim to say a few words. Please, sir, come forward. Thank you, Mr. President, Council Member Mitchell Farrell, other members of the Council. I wish to thank you, the City Council, and the people of Los Angeles for remembering our people. It's difficult as Councilmember O'Farrell would say, in the busy schedules that we keep, we remember a lot of things, including, I should greet you a happy birthday, Mr. President. A lot of things happen in our lives, but I think for the people of the Philippines, almost a year ago, the, ha the heavens opened up in a different way for us. The storm fury, the winds, unheard of in our country, and the storm surges. As Council Member Mitch would say, over 6,300 deaths, over 1 million families displaced, over 12 million people affected by Typhoon Haiyan, or what was locally known as Typhoon Yolanda. It will take many years, more than good intentions, to rebuild our country. And a lot of the good intentions, the good work, are coming from the city of Los Angeles. Last week, we honored Team Rubicon, a team of US veterans who were the first responders to our country. On the day that the typhoon was hitting our country, Team Rubicon was flying towards the Philippines. They were able to save a lot of lives. And I think the readiness of the people of Los Angeles to, lit, to raise a helping hand across the seas is commendable and inspiring for our people. It gives us inspiration to build back better in these islands. I've, I've seen a lot of reconstruction happen in the world after great disasters. I've seen Haiti. I've seen Katrina's disaster. I've seen the one in Japan after the tsunami. I would say that the build back in the Philippines is going on a deliberately good pace. 
different challenges. Ours are different islands that are connected by the seas. So sometimes rebuilding on one place would go smoothly, but we have to transfer some of the heavy equipment through barges to the next community. So it's not just an hour, an hour away, but two or three days away in terms of rebuilding. So for our country, it creates great comfort that the city of Los Angeles and the people of Los Angeles remember us on this day. And hopefully, we can show in the coming days, in the coming months, and in the coming years that we've not let you down in terms of rebuilding. We are building back better, and we want to be the voice both for a pressing challenge in the world today, one that, invol that involves climate change and all its impact on different communities around the world. We felt the impact of climate change through Typhoon Haiyan, and we also want to be the voice of a collective action by different governments and different people in terms of disaster response, a key issue of national security for many of our people around the world. So we thank the City of Los Angeles, this council, in terms of allowing us to be the voice for this cause and as well as keeping the spirits of our people alive in this city. So from my, on behalf of my people and behalf of my community here in the city of Los Angeles, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Council General. And if I might just add that uh, Los Angeles and our people feel a special friendship and partnership with the uh, Philippines, and you can be assured that we will do our part to assist you and your people. Thank you very Mr. much. Mr. O'Fair. Thank you, Mr. President. We have Lisa Schultz from the Peace Project, who just returned again from the Philippines, who can describe in her own very personal words the devastation, but the recovery and the sense of hope that she has personally witnessed. Lisa? Thank you. Thank you. Like everyone here, I witnessed the devastation of Typhoon Haiyan with complete disbelief. And then I heard this voice in my heart, and it said, you know, you can do something to help. So the Peace Project got busy. We identified an area where help was needed, Bantayan Island, off the northern tip of Cebu. And then I got on a plane. I arrived on Bantayan Island and saw complete devastation. I saw piles of wood and metal that used to be homes. In Santa Fe, one of the cities there that has a population of 30,000, about the same as Beverly Hills, over 65% of the homes were destroyed. People's livelihoods were gone. Families were torn apart. I then met a group of people in a small community called Tabanac and knew this was a place to build our first community of 40 homes. We promised to build 200. When we started planning, I said to the people of Tabanac, the Peace Project is not going to give you a home. We're going to work with you to rebuild your community. I'm going to do my part by going back to raise money. You have to do your part as well. And then I'm going to come back here, and we're going to build some houses. With the help of organizations like the Filipino Workers Center and thousands of citizens here in Los Angeles, many of them from the Filipino community, we did our part. The community of Tabanac did theirs as well, cleaning up massive debris, rebuilding houses, helping with construction, walking beside us every step of the way. I'm proud to share that last Saturday, on the anniversary of Typhoon Haiyan, we finished the first house in this community. As we worked with the people of Tabanac, our goals were simple, to rebuild their community, but also to shift their belief about their ability to shape their destiny. 
After transforming broken dreams in an overgrown lot into a community with 40 homes in less than a month, I said to them, if you believe you're powerless, just look around at what we've created. There are hundreds of thousands of people across the Philippines that aren't as lucky. In Tacloban, one of the area's worst hit, it's estimated that only 400 of the needed 14,000 homes have been built. The people of the Philippines continually surprise me with their faith. Faith that leads them to believe that organizations like the Peace Project won't forget the promises they made when catastrophe hit. The media may have moved on. The Peace Project hasn't. We're now raising money to build our second community of houses. Thank the people of Los Angeles and our partners at the Filipino Workers Center and Mitch O'Farrell's office for walking beside us on this journey. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much, Lisa. You, you heard Lisa talk about the Filipino Workers Center uh, and the Relief to Recovery campaign. And uh, here to speak now and, and talk a little, little bit about that is Aki Soriano Versosa. Thank you and good morning. Um, first of all, I want to thank um, the LA City Council for showing leadership around the issue of not only the relief efforts, but a part of the relief effort, which is um, trying to get the granting of temporary protected status for the Philippines, um, similar to Haiti, similar to um, Honduras and El Salvador, that were granted this relief. Um, it, it's a really important part to the relief to recovery effort because a lot, of course, we know that um, here in Los Angeles, Filipinos are the largest Asian population. And even here in California now, Filipinos are the largest population, Asian population. Um, and a lot of the families here, no matter the immigration status, we're the first line of aid to their family and friends and networks in the Philippines of those who were hit. Um, even till today, our, our members who are domestic workers are still sending back money to their families to be able to afford medicines that they still need. Um, in one area, there wasn't a pharmacy for six months. You know, so they had no access, and they're depending on their families here and friends to be able to support them. So TPS would really help empower our community further to um, to provide more relief. And last uh, this year, um, Los Angeles was one of the leaders, along with New York um, and San Francisco, to pass a resolution in support of TPS, which has bipartisan support. And so we're here standing together with our partners in the community, um, you know, with you, really remembering a year after there is still so much work to be done. You know, the, the spirit, um, like Lisa said, of the people is very strong there. So they're rebuilding, they're, they're taking all the initiative that they can, um, but there is very little resources to work with. So they're rebuilding homes with the refuse and the salvage materials that they find so that when they rebuild, really a lot of the areas are still a shadow of what they once were and we're still in typhoon season. Um, you know, we've already had deathly typhoons come through the area again, which just, and, and their situation still just leaves them um, vulnerable. And there are ten, over 10,000 people still living in tents in Tacloban, which is just a shame, which results in deaths. There's a one-year-old who was born just after the typhoon, living in a tent for a year, who just passed away because of the conditions. So these are the ongoing daily you know, uh, struggles of the people here, and we want to support to get to full recovery, not only just you know, that daily survival, but thriving, like building community centers, livelihood, where they can survive as they once did. Thank you very much. Thank you, Aki. Thank you, thank you, Aki. As you just heard with the example that Aki just described, there is incredible need that still exists there. So uh, hopefully on the screen you can bring up the following information, and that is to further assist in the recovery efforts. Um, there are a number of, of things that you can do. Um, Philippine Disaster Recovery Foundation 
uh, can be found at help.ph.org, that's H-E-L-P dot P-H. Um, also, the Peace Project at thepeaceproject.com is another resource. Um, and then relief to recovery at TPS for Filipinos.org. Maybe it's not going to come up on the screen. So that's TPS for F I L I P I N O S dot org. And of course, uh, the American Red Cross is still taking donations. Uh, so again, we urge everyone to stay involved, contribute what you can, and help in the recovery of the Philippines. Thank you so much, and may God bless. Thank you. Thank you all. Oh, Mr. O'Farrell, Mr. Mr. LaBange. Mr. O'Farrell, I just want to thank your leadership, Council General, everyone who stands there. And you mentioned the American Red Cross. Uh, there's all these activities that traumatize the world, yes. yet we bring it together. And I do want to put a shout out. There's several city employees, many retired, who engage in rebuilding efforts, whether it's in Africa, whether it's in, uh, in, in the Philippines or throughout the world. But uh, thank you for bringing this to our attention. Makati is a sister city of ours. We've got to push all of us to help in a way possible, and we're going to follow your lead, Mr. O'Farrell. Thank you, Thanks, Council Tom. General. Uh, Salamat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again so very much.